Describe this place for me. What does it look like? It's a road with trees, mm-hmm. tall pine trees. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. It's a winding road, mm-hmm. like up a mountain. Mm-hmm. Tell me everything that you see as you travel on this road. I'm on a motorcycle. On a motorcycle. Very good. What do you look like? Um, a man. Mm-hmm. I have a jacket on. A leather jacket. A leather jacket. Black boots. Mm-hmm. It's um, a motorcycle with a long nose, like um, a wheel in the front. Mm-hmm. Metal, black, and I'm just riding. Mm-hmm. How old are you? About 40. Mm-hmm. So let, tell me what you see along the way. There's trees. I could, it smells like just like pine trees. Mm-hmm. It's wet road. How do you feel on this motorcycle? I feel good. Mm-hmm. Happy. Happy. Let's find out what it is that you're doing today. Where are you going? To a house. To a house. Mm-hmm. Allow yourself to be at that house. And tell me what it looks like. It's a cabin. Mm-hmm. Pretty, like, redwood cabin. Whose house is this? My mother's. Mm-hmm. So describe what happens next. I go inside. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. What do you see in there? I see a really pretty kitchen. And a woman cooking, Mm an older woman. Is this a modern kitchen or an old kitchen? It looks modern. Mm -hmm. Really modern. Pretty. Mm-hmm. Lots of windows. Couch. Mm-hmm. Is it a large cabin or a small cabin? It's like medium size, not too small, mm-hmm. but it's not like massive. Mm-hmm. So what is your mom doing? Um, she's cooking breakfast. Mm-hmm. Um, she's cooking eggs. Yes. And pancakes. I can't see her face. Mm-hmm. She's like heavier set. Mm-hmm. Can I you see, see your her back? Can you see your face? What you look like? I do. What do you look like? Um, I'm a man. Mm-hmm. Like a beard. I have a scarf wrapped around my forehead. Mm-hmm. Leather jacket. Kind of heavier. Mm-hmm. So what's the reason for you visiting your mom today? Do you live here? Uh-uh. No, I don't live there. I was just going to see her. Mm-hmm. So let's find out what happens next. Advance that scene. What's the importance of this day? I want to tell her that I love her. Mm -hmm. Give her a hug. Mm -hmm. It wasn't always nice. What happened in your life? Sometimes I was mean to her. Mm-hmm. I just want to tell her that I'm sorry. So let's see what happened in the past. I'd like for you to close that scene and go back in time when you weren't being mean. 
when, when you were being mean to your mom. I didn't listen. What happened? She told me not to do something and I did it anyway. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it is that you did. I shouldn't have gotten married. Mm -hmm. It's a woman. She was just, she was mean and she took all of my money. Mm -hmm. And I should have listened to my mom. That was quite a lesson, wasn't it? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So what happens to you next? We hug. Mm -hmm. She told me that she loved me. How does that make you feel, now understanding that it's all right? Warm mm -hmm. inside, happy. Mm -hmm. What does your mom call you? Jason. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's leave that scene, Jason. And let's go to the next important scene in that lifetime. Be there now. I'm in the hospital. Mm -hmm. What's happened? I don't know. My children are there. Mm -hmm. How old are your children? They're adults. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel? Mm -hmm. Like 60s. Mm -hmm. So scan your body and see what it is that's wrong. My legs are swollen. My heart. I had a heart attack. Mm hmm. What is it that's going on through your mind as you're there? I feel dizzy. Mm -hmm. I see my sons. And I have two sons. Mm -hmm. And their families. What do you imagine is happening there today? That everybody's there to see you? They're saying goodbye to me. Mm-hmm. And as they're saying goodbye, I want you to check in with your own thoughts about your life. What was that life all about? Learning to forgive. And that it's okay to be happy. Not to feel guilty about that. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, Jason, take your last breath now in that lifetime, allowing yourself to detach that spirit from that body. And tell me what happens. I'm floating. Mm -hmm. What do you see or sense around you? Clouds, the sky, mm -hmm. light. I feel so light. Mm. Beautiful. Just lots of colors in the sky. What kind of colors do you see? Um, it's like rainbow colors. Mm -hmm. Just beautiful white clouds. It just feels fun, like amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm just floating up. What happens next? I'm embraced. I'm totally encapsulated with light. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Just feel so happy, like, I feel so loved. Connect with that loving feeling, mind to mind, soul to soul. What is embracing you? Just, just the light is embracing you. Mm -hmm. I want you to remember this feeling. I want you to use this moment now to embrace this feeling and allow all of your cells, all of your DNA to record this love. How does that feel? That's good. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens next. Where do you go beyond this light? In a boardroom? Mm hmm. What does this boardroom look like? It's like a long table. Mm hmm. And there are people sitting there in like cloaks. And the windows in the boardroom mm -hmm. are the clouds with the rainbows that I was just seeing. Mm hmm. Does the windows? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm You can see through the windows and see the clouds and the mm -hmm. rainbow sky. What is this room made of? It looks like a just a normal boardroom, like mm -hmm. with like office chairs and a room, mm -hmm. long table. And just a lot of windows you could see outside. Mm-hmm. And how many of these beings are there with you? Four. Four. Mm -hmm. Are they male or female? Um, male. Mm -hmm. Can you tell what they look like? Tall. They have these long cloaks. Mm -hmm. White cloaks with like a rope around the waist. Yes. Long hair. White hair. How do they feel to you? They feel... I feel safe. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like they're going to tell me something. Mm -hmm. So what do you do next? I just sit there and wait. Tell me everything that happens between you and these four men. They tell me that they love me, that I did good. I'm welcome to stay here or go back. I choose to go back. What is it that you're going to go back to do this time? To help. Mm-hmm. So let's find out a little bit about this choice. When you go back, do you choose people or circumstances that will help you on your journey? People. People. Let's find out how you choose these people. I'd like for you now to go to the planning stage of this next life and tell me how you choose these people. It's like um, they rolled out like this blueprint looks like a like a blueprint of a house or something. Mm -hmm. And they are moving like souls, like they look like little balls of light around the blueprint. It'll be my life. Mm -hmm. They're placing these little souls around to help me. Do you know who these souls are? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. My husband? Yes. My 
family, children, friends. Do you know any challenges that will be you'll be facing in this life? Is that part of the blueprint? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell me, tell me about that. To learn to love myself so that I can help others love. Mm -hmm. Because the light is needed. That kind of light energy is needed here. It's so dark. How is it that you are going to help others with this light? By teaching them that it's okay to be yourself and that nobody's perfect you have to love those imperfections will you be feeling imperfect yourself in, mm -hmm. in this life oh yeah so let's find out if you choose any aspect of yourself to focus on these imperfections my body Mm -hmm. Do you get to choose your body? Mm -hmm. So what body are you going to choose that you feel is imperfect? It's like, I choose this body because I have to learn to love it in every stage and mm -hmm. see the beauty see the beauty in your body it's so important for people to see that mm -hmm. why is it important to see the beauty in the body when we are focused as souls because it doesn't define you god made us all so beautiful and everybody's so like you you know how the, like the grass is greener on the other side but mm -hmm. You have to focus and know that you're beautiful because you're made in God's image. Mm -hmm. What other challenges will you be faced? Will you be facing? Hardships. Mm -hmm. What kind of hardships? Feeling like I'm not enough, like I have to constantly do more. Why would you choose such a challenge of not feeling good enough? So that I can overcome it. And when you overcome this, what are you going to do with this information, this experience? Share it with others. And teach others to overcome their own insecurities and teach others to love one another, to motivate each other. And to be together mm -hmm. we're, we're in this together mm -hmm. any other hardships that you'll be facing no let's see if there's any other challenges let's look at family relationships anything there that you need to you're going to need to learn yeah, I know. accept my family mm-hmm for who they are, not for what they do for me. How will that help in this lifetime? Accepting helps because it's not just about you. 
accept the way people are as they are. Mm -hmm. Can't change it. Very good. And let's find out now what belief systems you will be working with in this lifetime. Christianity. Mm -hmm. Why has Christianity been chosen? Strong. She has a strong, strong connection to Jesus. Mm -hmm. She comes from him. Can we dig deeper and find out what connection the soul has with Jesus? Would you take her back? Jesus has just always been there. Mm -hmm. He takes her head and lays it in his lap. Mm -hmm. Rubs her hair. She's in when she's crying or in pain. He always he always steps in mm -hmm. to give her energy. Her children mm -hmm. give her that energy. Yeah. It's like that just pure of light, like just white light. Mm -hmm. Did she ever live in a lifetime with Jesus? Mm -mm. She's known him as a soul. Mm -hmm. So we can find out now how they connect soul to soul. Would you take her now to that point in time when they made an agreement? Where he agreed to be there for her? To the ball. Like a ball of light. She's a ball of light. And he kisses the ball of light. He said, you're from, you're from me. I made you from me. He kissed the ball. And he put it in his hand. And just like blew it like. Mm-hmm. And she went off floating. Mm -hmm. She just she feels just at home, like just pure love. Mm -hmm. But she says that she wants to get more out of Christianity. She can't. I, that's just silly. Mm -hmm. You know, she knows that she's connected to Jesus, and that's all she needs. Mm -hmm. She can help others feel connected. How can she do that? By teaching people to love themselves and all their imperfections. motivating others to step into their own purpose because that's when that's when you start loving yourself mm -hmm. well right now it seems that she self-sabotages herself how can she teach others that's just that's just fear mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's just fear that seeps in her ego mm-hmm why has she allowed her ego to become so strong? You know, I it's it, I don't know, it, it and it doesn't need to be. Mm -hmm. You know, she doesn't need that fear. It's just it messes with her mind, like her thoughts. Mm -hmm. It gets into her thoughts, and then it kind of derails her. Mm -hmm. What part of her ego is the one that's so scared? Uh, the adult. All right, so let's speak with the adult ego right now. One, two, and three. Ego, what is it that you're so afraid of? She's just, I want her, you know, she she has to provide, you know, and I don't, I just, she shouldn't take too many risks. Mm hmm. Tell me why. Her soul is a provider. So. It's just safer if she doesn't take any risks. She just... Mm -hmm. 
All right, so let's speak with the higher self and see what her higher self has to say. She has to take those take those risks in order to reach more people and to spread light, her light around, mm -hmm. and to spread love and self-love around. She has to take those risks. So I try to step in and give her those moments of clarity. She gets like moments of clarity and she feels like these moments of pure bliss. And that's when I try to step in to tell her that it's okay to take these risks. Mm -hmm. All right, take a deep breath in. Ego, what do you say about that? We hear today that she has to take risks, that she is part of the soul of Jesus. She seems to be protected a lot. Why are you so scared? I don't know. I just wanted to... I want her to be safe. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to give up some of that fear and allow her to connect more? Yes. With God? Yes. With Jesus? With her higher self? Yes. So that she could be happy? Yes. All right. So I'd like for you now to go ahead and make an agreement with her higher self that you will step more into the background and see how she does using this divine guidance. Is that okay? Yes. All right, so take a deep breath in. I'd like for you now to tell me how that ego is feeling. Relaxed. Very good. Because when you're relaxed, you can't be in fear, can you? Right. Mm hmm. So now she has a question about discernment. How can she have more discernment? Because it seems that the ego was getting involved in everything. And that's where it was. It was her ego that was coming in, um, messing with her thoughts. Mm -hmm. now, that, now that she's relaxed a little bit, it'll be easier for her to, to, know, to know what's the right move. Mm-hmm. And she says that she wants her third eye open. What was keeping her in so much fear about her third eye? It was the ego. I, I don't think that the ego thought she was ready mm -hmm. for it. Um, she's ready. So would you tell her what she can expect once her third eye is open? She's going to be able to feel things. Mm -hmm. She She's like an empath a little bit now. Like she feels, she can feel people's pain. Mm-hmm. She's going to be able to feel things more and be able to inject her light to help, to help others. Okay. Will let it be anything spooky? Because I think she's afraid of seeing ghosts and no. things like that. She's... Tell her about that. She's... She's so silly. <laughs> no, she won't. She won't see anything like that. Okay. So can you give her the... The confidence now of being able to tap in to that third eye open so that she can help other people. Yes. She understands them. Good. What about meditating? She says she can't sit still yeah, and her, meditate. Her mind gets cluttered because mm -hmm. she holds on and retains so, many, so much information. It clutters her, her thoughts and mm -hmm. her mind. So she just has to keep doing it that's the thing she like would she wouldn't practice she just like kind of give up mm -hmm. so what she has to do is just quiet her mind just just focus on her breathing she needs to exercise it makes her feel really good mm -hmm. when she exercises and she eats greens vegetables how is she doing with her health now well, she, she'll do good for a little bit, and then, like, laziness gets in mm -hmm. the way. But I always remind her how good she feels when she, uh, you know, when she does what she's supposed to do. Like, she knows how, she, how she's supposed to eat. She knows that movement is key to her body, mm -hmm. being in a high vibrational state. So when laziness sets in, it's like a little bit of the ego telling her to just... I'll relax or give yourself a break, but 
she's got to push herself and because it, it really keeps her in that elevated state. Mm-hmm. Does her diet have anything to do with her headaches? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of carbs. The carbs gives her headaches. Mm-hmm. Well, she says Lots it's, of, it's the sugar, sugar and carbs. So what should she be not eating and what should she be eating? No processed more? foods. She needs to, you know, eat salads and greens, cook her food, cook her vegetables. Like nothing that she needs to just microwave or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Should she microwave it all? No. So what's the best thing that she can start doing now? Not only helping herself, but helping her children. Well, they can walk together as a family. She needs to start walking, mm-hmm. then eventually start jogging. Because when she jogs, it just, she feels so good. Mm-hmm. Like it just, it does put her in like this hypnotic state. Mm-hmm. So they can walk together as a family. She needs to cook wholesome meals. And she can do it. She's, she's capable of so much. She just, she puts a lot of stress on herself. Mm-hmm. Now, she tells me that um, she wants to spiritually protect her children and her family. What's what's that question coming from? Is yeah, see, the thing there? is, she, yep, and she watches these YouTube videos, some YouTube videos she just shouldn't, she shouldn't be watching because it puts these thoughts in her mind and then mm-hmm. she holds on to it. Mm-hmm. So what she's got to do is just just remember that she's already protected. That our children are protected and focus on that mm-hmm. and not anything else. And when her children start speaking about things that are not of this earth, people that show up, how should she handle that? She should embrace it. It's not, it's nothing, it's harmless. It's mm-hmm. nothing dangerous or anything like that. They're loved ones that are with Ava. Okay. And how can she raise her her children in this world? It seems to be a scary world. She just needs to continue to love them, love on them, spend more time with them, do more things with them. Mm -hmm. How can she connect even deeper with God, with Jesus? She connects every single night. She Mm. just doesn't. She connects every night. She's, she's grateful, you know, Mm -hmm. and when she reminds herself of what she's grateful for, it, um, it makes her connected. Mm -hmm. Just focus on gratitude. Mm -hmm. Well, today you showed her that life of that man on the motorcycle. What was important about that lifetime that you needed to show her? She dreams of, of different locations. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like she remembers them, but she doesn't remember them from this lifetime, so it confuses her. Mm-hmm. So she dreams about that windy road with the trees, the pine trees, often. And then she'll wake up and say, what is that? Why do I keep going back, like having the dream about that place? It's from that life. Mm -hmm. And what is it that about that life that has impacted her so much? Forgiveness. Mm -hmm. He forgave himself. Mm -hmm. Well, he did. Well, or both of them, actually, both of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's got a. It was hard for him to forgive in that lifetime, and sometimes it could be hard for her to forgive. Mm-hmm. Is there anything that she's holding now that is creating anything physical in her body? Mm-hmm. Tension. Tension. Mm-hmm. Where is this tension located? In her shoulders and neck. Mm-hmm. What is she keeping in there? Thought forms. Thought forms. Let's find out why she created these thought forms. Why did she need this? Doubt. Mm. Self-doubt. Self-doubt. What are these thought forms doing to her body? It gives her uh, 
neck shoulder pain mm -hmm. tension what does it look like from inside like a blob a blob what color mm -hmm. is it brown mm -hmm. what consistency is it it's like slime slime so are we ready to release all of these doubts mm -hmm. now that the ego has relaxed yes and hasn't been placing all of this in there mm-hmm mm -hmm. so what would we like to use today white light very good so let's begin using that white light and let's transform all of this blob into something else what would you like to transform it into love love so go ahead and use that white light to transform all of that brown blob into this beautiful white light beautiful love Mm -hmm. And let's imagine now that those, that white light, let's put in some color into it, like those clouds mm -hmm. that she saw. Reminding her of what it was like to be loved as she floated through those beautiful rainbow clouds. And when something falls on her shoulders from now on, she can now connect it, knowing that she has always loved, that there is nothing to worry about, because it's all divinely guided. And she doesn't need to put any more weight on her shoulders. Allow it to just float up with the clouds. And tell me when it's done. It's done. Very good. What else does she have in her body? Her knee. In her knee. What's going on with her knee? I don't know. Something's weird there. Left or right knee? Left. All right. So would you allow me now to connect with that energy in the knee? Mm hmm Thank you. I'm going to bring my hand up by the knee and bring it up, 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 up. All the way up. You can now express yourself. Hi. Hi. Are you male or e female energy? Female. What can I call you? Sue. Sue. How old are you? Twelve. Twelve. So what is it that you're doing there with Gia? I don't know. Just give her a little bit of pain. Mm -hmm. So what happened to you? What happened to your body? Somebody chopped me up. Mm. What happened? I was murdered. Let's find out who murdered you. Was it someone you knew? Mm-hmm. Who was it? My father. What was the reason he did that? He was crazy. Mm-hmm. So when you left that body behind, what happened to you? Where did you go? I didn't go anywhere. Mm-hmm. So how did you find Gia? She was playing. How old was she? preschool mm -hmm. and what made her so vulnerable that you were able to attach to her I saw her light mm. I wanted it well it seems to me Sue that you were looking for the wrong light mm. Mm. because although Gia is a part of Jesus she has that light within her you do too did you know that me too. So what have you been doing to Jesus, Gia all this time? Um, I give her pains in her knee and in her back. Mm. Why do you do that? I don't know. Is that where you were chopped up? Yeah. Mm. So Sue, would you like to finally get rid of all of that pain? Yeah. Yeah. But we only can only do that with forgiveness. Can you forgive your father? Yes. So I want you to go ahead and feel that love. Not, not knowing why he did it, but understanding 
that this is part of your journey, your experience. And would you like Gia to forgive you for yeah. all of the pain you've given her? Yes. Very good. So take a deep breath in, Gia. Can you forgive this little girl for wanting to have part of your light? Yes. Very good. So now, Sue, I'd like for you to look within your own heart and see that light within you. And tell me when you find it. I found it. All right, now make it bigger, Sue. Make it really big. Tell me how that feels. It's good. Very good. So now, I'd like for you to look at your body that you were left with, all chopped up. And I'd like for you to use that light to begin healing that body, putting it all back together. Tell me when you've done that. How does that feel? Feels good. And now, I'd like for you to go ahead and begin removing from her knee, from her back, all of your energy. Go through her whole body and let's remove that energy. And when you're ready, I want you to go up through the top of her head, right up here. And I have a helper that helps me during these sessions. His name is Michael. He's an archangel. Can you see him, Sue? Mm -hmm. What does he look like? Big. He is big, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and take his hand. He's going to take you straight back to that light of God. And tell me, who is there? My mom. Your mom. What does she say to you? She's talking to me. Very good. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. And now I'd like to ask for Archangel Raphael to step forward and go ahead and send your beautiful green light into her body, sealing her from all of this influence that was there before. Sealing up all of that area. Transforming it back to what it should have been. And as he continues to do that, I'd like for you to tell me if there's any other area in her body that's not quite what it should be doing. Her head. Her head. What's going on with her head? A, th a thought form. Mm-hmm. Is this the bump in her head? Mm-hmm. What is that thought form? Why did she create that? When she doesn't love herself. Doesn't love herself. Is she storing things in that bump? Mm-hmm. Let's find out what's inside. I want you to go ahead inside of that bump and tell me, what are all the emotions, all of the words, all of the things that you see in that bump? When she compares herself. Mm -hmm. What else? When she scolds herself. Mm -hmm. she, when she's not loving herself. Mm -hmm. Not loving herself. Do we need to have that little place to put all of those negative thoughts? Yeah, she, had it. she needs to remove them. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems to me that her ego may have created some of this, didn't, mm -hmm. didn't she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and begin transforming this, but we need to transform it into something that could be helpful. What would we like to transform it into? Confidence. Confidence. Before we do that, we need to go ahead and empty that, that out. And we do that by forgiving ourselves. Are you ready now to forgive yourself Yes. for all of that? I'm going to put my hand over your chest, and I want you to go ahead and begin pulling out all of those thoughts. Not good enough. Not beautiful enough. Not confident enough. Not smart enough. 
all of those thoughts, comparing yourself to everybody else. Pull all that out. We don't need all of that. And tell me when I have all of that out. You have it. All right. So now that we have it all out, now we can transform it. So are we ready now to transform it into that confidence? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go ahead and begin beaming a light into that. What would we like to cut? What kind of light? You white, gonna, white light. Very good. I'm going to put my hand over your chest, and as you beam that white light into it, let's fill it with confidence. As I put it in one way, use that light to seal it in there. As you use your breath, this, send that confidence through every cell of your body, transforming now your DNA that controls your body into confidence. And I'm going to tap your forehead and seal that in. How does that feel now? Feels great. Wonderful. So now that she has all of that confidence in there, what can we do better for her body? She wants to feel comfortable in her skin. She will now. She will now. Mm -hmm. Good. So, anything else that you would like to tell Gia at this time? We've gone through all of her questions now. It's open form, and you can tell her why you brought her, her here today, what you needed her to know. She needs to remember that she's loved, she's protected. She's of God and she cannot, there's nothing that can, that can waver that, mm -hmm. that she's meant to accomplish extraordinary things and not to limit herself. And she can do it and step out on faith. She always says she has faith, but she has to practice that. Practice it. We'll be with you every step of the way. Very good. And how can she connect with you? even better now through her meditation through her exercise good rest and healthy eating very good are we complete today yes very good wow wow is right <laughs> mm. how do you feel a little dizzy mm. Wow. So let me switch those up. Let's see where they are. Where are my things? I don't even know where they are. My shungite. There they are. Let's, let's replace that selenite with some shungite because we need to ground you, my dear. What do you remember? I remember floating. Mm-hmm. That felt so good. Mm -hmm. It was just so calming and having it like almost made me want to cry. Mm -hmm. um, Do you remember anything else? I remember being confident that I need to be confident. Yes. I think I remember everything. I don't. I don't know. I feel like it's like everywhere. Like. My thoughts are everywhere right now. <laughs> How long do you think this was? Mm, maybe 30 minutes. Mm, we are on, well, we're almost at an hour right now. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. didn't feel like an hour. Mm-hmm. Wow. I felt good. Felt good? Felt really good. Mm-hmm. Do you remember any of it to want to share any of it? Um, about loving yourself? Mm-hmm. We can cut out any personal stuff mm -hmm. anything to do with family yeah and the rest we can leave in because I thought it was pretty pretty nice yeah it was really nice I remember being the ball of light mm -hmm. it just yeah it's like it's like he pulled it from his stomach or something mm -hmm. I was this little light and then he just blew me off Beautiful. Yeah, it was stunning. How did you make that up, huh? Yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> it was just uh, stunning. I just felt so and any good. time that you're sad, he puts your head on his lap. Mm -hmm. Wow. Beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So, how was it? I mean, I just feel excited. I feel happy, like this warm, kind of blissful yeah. feeling right now. It feels really good. So, yeah. when you first came here, mm -hmm. you, you had doubts that you could even be hypnotized. Yeah, because my mind is always all over the place. You said you're very analytical. I am, very. So, what happened? <laughs> well, I just felt myself relaxing and I just trusting the process and trusting whatever came to my mind because yeah. at first i was like am i making this up or <laughs> is it my ego talking and i was yeah. like just trust just trust and I, as i kept telling myself that uh -huh. that's when i just started talking yeah and good. it was really it was really good yeah I mean, you saw this guy in a motorcycle yeah. and, and uh mm -hmm. i yeah yeah, and I don't have any kind of connection to motorcycles either. Like, Isn't that something? In this life. Yeah, I don't have any kind of connection and to And what was really interesting was that blueprint that was taken out by yeah. the council. Yeah, it looked like a blueprint and these, these little souls. It it was incredible because the, the windows were in the background. And, For the clouds? Yeah, it was just an incredible sight. Yeah, <laughs> it was incredible. Mm -hmm. And yeah. how do you feel? I mean, we did we did stuff with your body. Yeah. I feel light. Mm -hmm. I feel energized. Like I want to get home and cook and exercise <laughs> and play with my kids and, you know, all of that good stuff. Like I just feel really happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How does hypnosis feel? It feels completely different than I thought. I mean, I came in with like the stereotype. Of what did what you I think thought. it was? I thought it was going to be more like sleep like. I really yeah, honestly hypnosis did. Hypnosis is not sleep. It's not. I was fully conscious. I was fully aware of what was going on. Yes. But I was just relaxed. My body kind of felt like heavy a little bit. Like mm -hmm. I can, couldn't move my um, hands or my fingers. Mm -hmm. And I just trusted the process. And, and you yeah. did great. Yeah, thank you. And now that you understand mm -hmm. how Christianity yeah. is in your life, why you chose it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to know that you have to just love yourself, you yes. know what I mean? Yes. And, and understand that we're bigger than what mm -hmm. our jobs are, or, yes. you know, what we accomplish in this life. We're so much more than that, you know, in this three dimensional mm -hmm. world. Um, yeah. And you were told that you need to go forth and, and, uh, be, be more of who you are. Right. So right now you have, you have a pretty, uh, intense, YouTube channel. I do. Right? I so do. Tell everybody about what it is that yeah. you do. So my channel is called Marriage and Motherhood. And, you know, I uh, teach people financial freedom and, mm -hmm. you know, I motivate women and moms and families to kind of like live their best life. And wow. Yeah. Yeah. It feels good. It feels good to know that, you know, I'm motivating others too. And that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell everybody what your channel, uh, how they get to you, how do they contact? Do you have a website? Yeah, I have a something? website. It's marriagemotherhood.com. And again, my YouTube channel is just Marriage and Motherhood. Mm -hmm. And I should pop up. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so, so much, Alba. Do you recommend this to other people? Oh, yes, definitely. It was, it's definitely life changing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. It's, it, it's something that, you know, I love to do. And just like in her session, you really need to do what you, which you're here to do just right. before uh, you come here, you know your purpose, mm -hmm. but we forget. And yeah. we have all of these doubts in our mind as to, and we, we, we talked with your ego today, which was mm -hmm. really important. Mm -hmm. Our ego really sabotages us, telling yeah. us we can't do something, that you're afraid to do something. Yeah. So you really have to go out there and do what it is that you're meant to do. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I guess part of my purpose was to, yeah work with everybody out there and yeah. awaken people around the world. And if you would like uh, to have a session, just go to my website, albaweinman.com. Go to my out of town page, very important, sign up for my newsletter. And uh, you will get a newsletter about once a month and it will tell you where I'm going to next. Right now we are filming in Dallas, Texas. Yeah, Dallas. How far did you travel? I came from Atlanta because I just missed her last month in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> so, next time though, yeah, for sure. Cause I want all like everybody to do this. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I want everybody I know to do this. So yeah. So let's just yeah. sign up when that newsletter comes out. There's a, a link there to go to my calendar. And if the date is there, 
sign up fast because they go within minutes. Literally seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for watching. This was a really very nice, nice short and sweet, but we got yeah. a lot out of it. Yeah. And uh, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Give me that hug. Give me that hug. <laughs>